Well then, my uh, little garage wombles, I'm going to give you a full review of my body door. I call this my body door because it's behind my main door. So here's my main door with the locks and padlocks and now with a new surface on it. This is the body door. This is the homemade body door on the inside. So here it is. First of all, we put an inside frame of steel and angle iron. I'll tell you why that's pointing outwards in a minute. And here it is. So what is it? it uh, it's just this that you get it from electrical stores, you know. Um, they use it when they're installing electric in uh, factories. So what I've done, first of all, here's the hinge. You only need two hinges, don't really matter. Look, it's just a piece of angle iron welded onto this, which is connected to the frame. A bolt upwards, just a cap, angle iron, and that's just to strengthen it, stop this from coming up. So the hinge is as basic as you want it to be. And you only need two of them, so another one, angle iron, bolt welded, capped on. So that's the hinge, that's all you needed to do is open and shut. Then you, uh, you bolt it all together. I like this stuff because it's got holes, so there's no drilling. You don't have to drill anything together. So you just bolt it all together to the size and the shape you want. Well, what I've done, I've gone afterwards and welded it. You've just got to watch, this is galvanized stuff. So you get fumes off it. So bolt it all together and make the shape you want. The lock, well, the shutting mechanism is just a bar. It's a simple L-shaped bar. I think it was off some sort of a jacking angle or something, but it's just within there, but just slides along, cut a few holes out, and it just sticks in and out, look. Just weld the circle on the end, like that. It's simple. And then, the lock isn't a fantastic lock, it's just one of these cheap Chinese lock things. But what it does is hooks up and over. Within there, it hooks up and over and keeps that shut. And what makes it secure is I've just welded loads of protection on it. So you can't really get to it without making one hell of a noise. And it shuts, it just simply shuts on the frame, on a tube. That's it, look. Just slows them down. So, here we are. There's the bolt coming across. There it is going in there, the keep. Well, the keep has just been welded on the outside of the, of the frame. Now, I want to tell you about this. I didn't need to drill a hole. I had a hole, all I've got to do is put the hole where I want it to be. So I just welded this in here, a hell of a mess of a hole. But you see this? This is the same idea as a tank. You, if I just welded that there, somebody could smack that with a hammer and break it off. But I've welded a, a deflection plate. So if somebody comes along now and tries to hit it with a hammer, where the hell is a hammer? So even if you had a bigger hammer, if I was to strike that with a hammer, you couldn't strike it off because it's deflected. So, hmm, that was part of the thinking behind that. Um, as it happened, this um, this red, it's an old B&Q door. That's where it is. And then I found the skin afterwards. The skin was another skin. I just bolted it in place uh, and welded it. So there's the skin. So that is my body door. And they can't lift it off the hinges because the... Do you remember, I put this angle iron sticking this way so it can't be lifted up because the door holds it in. So yes, that is my baddie door within the door. So it's ugly and it's homemade, but you wouldn't really know, would you? Because it's behind the other door. Hmm. <laughs>